So yeah, now we're going to the last entrance that we haven't used yet. Um, to start this. That was weird. Anyway. Uh, hello, how's it going? Oh, he used it for the big Goron trade sequence. But, uh... I forgot about the big Goron trade sequence. This is Gerudo's Fortress. They don't like you being here. I don't really remember uh, what I'm supposed to do here, but... Get in there and keep quiet. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I won't be doing that because I haven't played this since it's been at least six or seven years. And If you want to, I don't really care either way, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I remembered that, uh, as you see, uh, I just don't remember if I'm supposed to be in here to move on to the next temple, uh, cause I'm not going towards 100%, I'm just going towards, uh, the game. Most people would agree the water temple is the worst. Uh, I find this one to be the worst 
for me if I remember correctly. I don't remember the temple itself very well, but I remember uh, in terms of bosses, this one was my least favorite. I'd like to remember how I just get past these people. Uh, just so that I can uh, move on. Do I need to... Uh, Uh, so I do, I, do I have to do the whole thing? Oh yeah, okay. I thought that was just to uh, fix the bridge if you needed it. At least... Uh, but I guess I did it anyway. But that makes sense. Oh yeah, I've only beaten the game twice. Every other attempt I've made hasn't gotten past the Water or Fire Temple. Because I'd always forget to finish it. So... Uh, sense. I don't know if I was supposed to come up here yet. That's pretty cool. I remember Bongo Bongo being my second easiest boss, my first playthrough, but I didn't really get to uh, experience it completely. Uh. When I was younger, like. My first time actually beating the game was when I was much older. Uh, like, uh, middle school. Uh, I can 100% it, I just haven't played it enough to uh, care. I was uh, bigger into uh, and still am more into uh, the, uh, the JRPG genre so These games right here are what I grew up on. This one right here, and then this one. Two of my favorite games of all time. Uh, and while I do love this game, it's not a... Uh, the game but I don't have a capture card and that's about all you need to know. <laughs> 
Even if I did, I'd probably still. Uh, play it the way I am because I don't like the 64 or the GameCube controller, personally. I grew up on both of them. Uh, I grew up on the 64 controller and I still can't stand it, so. It's taken Nintendo a very long time to learn how to make an analog stick. They locked us up. But you can kind of tell what I'm playing on because, uh... The authentic cartridge doesn't do things like this as easily. Like it does, but uh, it's better at concealing that uh, it's a lot better at concealing the clipping and the walls and all that. Oh. oh fuck. Oh, I can't go over there. They might have been easier, but that doesn't necessarily make them better. Uh, especially considering they both only had one analog stick. Oh my god, I did that to myself. But uh... In terms of our natural progression of gaming, the 64 was kind of archaic. But I wouldn't want it any other way, because if it was. If they had designed the controller in any other way, the games would have been different. classic 64 games. Many I want to play on the cast, so... Uh, I'm in the States. to get that box that I got.
I'm still not playing with the controller I find most comfortable, so... I mean... I can't really talk about controllers and comfort, because for me, the... I have... I have not in a very, very long time, because I've only beaten Majora's Mask once. Uh. Hey, how's it going? I was very adamant about not liking the three-day system in Majora's Mask, so, uh... I hadn't really spent any time with the game. I will play it eventually on cast, because it is a great game, as much as I wanted to hate it for the three-day system, and I don't like the three-day system, but, uh, it does add a feel of uh, pressure with each dungeon that this game doesn't, so it does do some things right. Yeah, the one time I played and beaten the game, uh, I had all, more or less finished everything I set out to do. Uh, you aren't... locked on to her that whole fight. It would have made it a lot easier if I had been locked on. If I remember correctly, these guys are still saved even if I get caught again. Yeah. The second dungeon is annoying, but uh, the boss itself wasn't that bad if I recall. Uh, getting to the dungeon was really frustrating. Definitely not my least favorite part of Majora's Mask, though, by uh, a huge margin. So there's this one section of the game that can be really, really frustrating.
Yeah. Uh, it's about 6.30 here, so for me, it's, uh, I woke up for this. <laughs> so that's completely understandable. I have yet to get him, so not at all yet, but if I was actually... hundred percenting or anything, I would use him for anything I need him for. But I typically have never... Uh, practice where the Scarecrow can be really useful. But I've only beaten the game twice too, like, uh, in all the times I've played through the game, this is the third time I've gotten to the Gerudo Fortress. Uh, last time I got him, I set him to a Majora's Mask song that wasn't in this game. Uh, if I get him this time, his, uh, song would just be all A's. It's just something that's easily remembered. I'm not really sure where I'm going anymore. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have known that was going to happen. Like... Alright, man, take it easy. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And yeah, good night.
There's obviously a door I haven't gone in yet. I just don't know what door it is. the store. That was a bad idea. I think that's the door I need. I think that's the door I need. It's just... Uh, getting back to it. 